solving exponential equations. Now we're going to spend quite a bit of time with this, but today I just want to talk about one strategy, and it's a strategy that involves working with like bases. So for example, let's look at this equation. If I were to solve this exponential equation, basically I'm looking for an x value that makes this true. Hmm. So this one isn't too tricky because I'm saying 5 raised to some exponent equals 5 raised to some other exponent. Well, if those are equal, my friends, and the bases are the same, what has to be true about I'm, those exponents? I'm thinking they've got to be equal to each other, Miss Stewart. Well, you're right, Mr. Haas. Yeah. Does everybody know Mr. Haas? Yeah, hi. Yeah, so I'm going to do a leap of logic here, and I think we're all comfortable with that leap of logic. The bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same, and now I'm just solving for x using algebra, negative x equals negative 1, ergo x equals 1. That x satisfies this. Should we just check? Sure. So 5 to the first. 5 to the first. I'm pretty sure that's going to be 5 there. Very nice. Yeah. Equals 5 to the 2 times 1 minus 1. Also 5 to the 1. Also yeah, 5 hey. to right. the 1. Beautiful. Equals Very five. nice. That's great. Okay. That works. So let's get a little more complicated, shall we? Now, what if I give you an exponential function? Why does it always have to get more complicated? Do we always give us an easy one? That's how you suck us in. And then you... <laughs> all right. What if I had, let's say, 3 to the 2x plus 3 equals 9 to the mm. x plus 1? Ah. Uh, now, no. can I do that leap of logic here? Well, not quite. Not quite, because my bases are not the same. But, I'm thinking I could just rewrite this. I think you can. So that my bases are the same. So, you know, sometimes students get confused and think that I'm doing something like to both sides of the equation, and I'm not. I'm just going to rewrite one of the bases so that both of the bases are the same. Okay? Now, I could rewrite either one, but I like going for the easy one. And look at that, 9. Could I express 9 as 3 raised to some power? I think it's 3 squared, as a matter of fact. Very nice. So I'm yeah. just rewriting 9 as 3 squared. Right. I'm you not changing anything. It means the same thing. It means the same Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Okay, so I just rewrote that. So far, so good? Yeah, That's very cool. good. I see where yeah, you're going. There was an interesting right. choice and problems there was here. An interesting that's choice all right. Problems, but that's all right. So here we go. What am I going to do there? Well, I mean, you, ha you have to remember that, that that two there really, yes, needs to be distributed to, to both the x and the one. And I think we both, yeah, saw yeah, what was going to happen. When you bring a power way. to another power, you Got to multiply. multiply those together. Now, of course, since it's my day off, I wasn't really thinking ahead. But That's I all right. the base is the same, so now I can set those exponents equal to each other. This is going to be a fun, interesting one. All right, if I'm solving for x, oh my goodness, Mr. Haas. What the heck? Well, okay, so in this particular case, what you, that mean you ended up this? with no solution here, right? Nothing, nothing works. Yeah, which is kind of interesting here. I it mean, so it's like no matter what you put in for x, no matter what, that will never be true. That statement will never, ever be true. Absolutely. That's interesting. All right. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Sure. Right? That is an impossible thing. It's about it. impossible. But my strategy... Good strategy. We just happen to end up with 2x on both sides, but you're going to do another one. Let's do another Let's one. Let's do there another one. Yeah. All right, let's try well, These are kind one. of fun, Miss Stewart. They are kind of fun. Let's try one with, uh, let's say, 4. And thir oh, yeah, okay. I was going to go for 32 yeah. there, but all right. Let's do 8. You don't want to, you know, not too much at once there. All right, let's try this guy. I see you picked powers of 2. Oh, yes. very good. All right. Yeah. So, again... My bases are not the same, but I can rewrite them so that they are the same. And as Mr. Haas noted, I can use 2 as a base for both of these. I can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. Again, just rewriting it. 
I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third. Are we okay there? All right, so raising an exponent to another exponent, you multiply together those exponents. Same thing here, and we have to remember to distribute that 3. So now I'm ready for my leap of ah, logic. It's going to work out nicely. are the same. Therefore, the exponents must also be equal to each other. Let's solve for x, get x by itself, and here I have x equals negative 3. That is the x value that makes that equation true. Should we check it? Sure. So we have 4 raised to the negative 6, and that is supposedly the same as 8 raised to the negative 4. Um, yeah, if you throw that in your calculator, sure. I think you will find that those are equivalent fractions. Can't quite do it in my head, but yeah. 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 Fantastic. Check a room. Absolutely. So we do one more? Sure, thing? one more. Okay. What? So oh, there, there must be, as you go along, there must be some other way. I mean, this is, a, this is going to be a nice way, but it only, it, it's only going to work if you can easily get the bases the same. Exactly I'm right. sure as you go farther along, you're going to learn some other way yeah. of, of dealing with these exponential equations. Very nice. Right. Th exactly right. These so this is going to be one strategy. A specific right. type of problem. That is absolutely Let's do um, uh, You're picking two X and three X a lot, I think, but that's good. Yeah, well, maybe not. Good stuff no, I don't know. That's good. Good numbers. Okay. So again, solving an exponential ah. equation. Okay, so I'm looking at those bases and saying, how could I rewrite these oh, so that they very have the good. same base? I'm seeing 27 and 9, and I'm well, thinking powers of 3 to the three. something. Sure, there. Yeah. sure, sure. So let's rewrite 1 over 27. Of course, that's in the denominator. Mm. And I just want 3 to be 3 raised to something. Well, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, but how am I going to get that 27 downstairs there? Oh, that's right. Go downstairs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I always forget it. about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So there we have 3 to the negative 3, of course, is the same as 1 over 3 to the third, That's which right. is 1 over 27. All right, this is a little more straightforward. That's just going to be 3 squared will give me my 9. Okay, I think we're good with this drill now. When you raise an exponent to another exponent, you multiply together the exponents. Of course, you have to remember to distribute that. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting one you got. My bases are the same, so I can do my leap of logic and say my exponents must also be the same or equal to each other. And there we have negative 13x equals 2, so x equals negative 2 thirteenths, which I'm sure many of you figured out. Yeah, your head. I got, that does work, actually, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I, yeah. <laughs> Got that point, Ms. Stewart. Not a very pretty answer, but that is the X that makes that equation true. So, this is one strategy, Mr. Haas, as you already said, this is clearly a strategy that only works when your bases are nice. If, for example, I had something like, you know, 5 to the X equals uh, 7 to the 3X minus 1, something like that, well, clearly, yeah. mm. I cannot use this strategy. Yeah. I could come up with a decimal approximation by graphing to solve, which we've talked about. You know, y1 equals one side, y2 equals the other side, etc. But soon you're going to learn another strategy to solve absolutely any exponential equation using logarithms. Da, da, da. That's when yeah. the fun really begins. That's okay. great. Thanks, Mr. Stewart. Thank you, Mr. Love my life.